I mean, nothing works 100% of the time, right? Except Mexicans. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie for Reason TV, and today we're talking with Ted Balaker. He's directing a documentary about raw, offensive humor, uh, Everywhere Under Attack, that's going to come out later this year. Ted, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. The name of your movie? Can We Take a Joke? Okay, and now what we see in contemporary America is that we really can't. Amy Schumer, the Comedy Central uh, comedian, just got into big trouble for uh, suggest, you know, making jokes about Mexicans. Uh, before that, Jerry Seinfeld talked about how hard it is to go on college campuses because people are sure. always offended. What's going on in comedy and how, how does it affect freedom of expression? Well, there seems to be two camps in comedy where, you know, if you're funny, then that's the only rule. Mm -hmm. And then there's this other camp where you have to be funny and you have to advance all these causes or you have to avoid certain topics. Stand-up comedy or comedy in general, does it have a social function? Is it, you know, is it supposed to make us better people? Is it simply supposed to make us laugh? Um, you know, what, what, I guess, what's the best case for comedy that might be offensive to some of the people uh, listening to it? I think comedy can be a great icebreaker. To answer your question more directly, I think just to be funny, uh, to make other people laugh is, is your primary goal. Now, if you can do other things, I guess maybe that's a higher degree of difficulty and you get a special prize or something. Um, but comedy is, is really the, the space. It, it's a way of, of broaching topics that we're not quite comfortable about yet. So if you can if you can joke about something, uh, it actually helps um, open things up. One of the comedians we we have in our film, Kareth Foster, she actually goes to to universities and does the opposite of what you see on so many campuses where they're so humorless and everybody's walking on eggshells. She tells jokes about race, sex, everything, and uh, she she gets the kids to loosen up a little bit. So they loosen up and then they can talk really openly about these very sensitive subjects. It, that seems to me, the, I, think the, I think frankly the university can learn a lot from the world of stand-up comedians because the university is supposed to be this free marketplace of ideas uh, where you, you try different ideas out and, and test them against each other. You see a lot more of that, frankly, in you know, Jim Norton's radio show or at, you, know, you go to a Lisa Lampanelli concert, you see people, gay, straight, black, white, all kinds, and they're laughing at each other and with each other and it's really a beautiful thing you don't see that very often on college campuses. Ted, talk a little bit about uh, what you call the, the outrage mob or the outrage cycle and it's tied into social media. How, how does this work? Uh, you know, walk us through the steps of a comedian making a joke <laughs> and then getting into trouble and well, what we, happens? We've all seen it a million times. A comedian tells a joke, someone else gets offended, someone else blogs about it, and then bloom! Uh, outrage uh, spreads across the land and uh, you've, we've always had an outrage mob to some degree but what we haven't always had is modern technology such as social media uh, and smartphones. You can, uh, these days a lot of comedians are frightened uh, of smartphones because especially in comedy clubs you're, they're going to, it's a work in progress and you're not like a painter where you can be by yourself and paint, paint, paint till you get it right. You need the interaction with, with the audience. And if someone is, is there with a smartphone, take something perhaps out of context. Or frankly, you just remove, you, you tell a joke that works in a club um, and take it somewhere else. It's a completely different animal. And I mean, we saw this, I guess, with uh, Michael Richards, the guy who played Kramer on Seinfeld, famously told some pretty unfunny stand up comedy jokes. What wasn't called for? What was it called for? It's not called for you to hear all my ass, you cheap motherfucker! Ah! It was caught on a smartphone. Uh, that gets blogged, it gets all over the internet, then he has to make an apology. And even, I guess, Jerry Seinfeld went on late night to help him make apologies. Um, does that, is, is that a good thing or is that, is that a, a case of kind of repressing, you know, the freedom of expression? I think what's happened is we've, we've really overdone it. And Adam Carolla says in our, in our doc, uh, you know, making people make phony apologies, I don't know why we view this as progress. Well, we'll leave it there. The movie is Can We Take a Joke? And it's coming out towards the end of the year, a documentary including some of the top comedians and top, most offensive comedians working, uh, working in clubs today. Indeed. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.